Hey, Tubies, it's Psychic Bob. Well, welcome to Monday. You know what today is? It's Horoscopes Monday. That's right. We're going to spin around our big zodiac wheel and see what is in the stars for you. But before we do that, got a few important announcements. Now, before we get into everything, got a few important announcements. That's right. First thing I want to say is thank you. Thank you to all of you who came out to yesterday's video. We had such a wonderful time. On Sunday night, Lady Angela and I did a mystical Wiccan ritual to celebrate the energies of Imbolc and the season of February, the month of February and all its energies. So many of you said how wonderful that ritual was. And if you haven't seen that or you missed it, don't worry, we've got it on uh, video. So see the video right before this one and you can participate in our magic. So if you missed it live, don't worry, you can still catch up and do the ritual with us. Okay, so definitely check that out in the queue right before this one. Also, da da new artwork. This is my newest Artwork, it's called Magenta Frenzy. So many of you said how much you loved Green Frenzy and what I do more in the Frenzy style. So here's our newest one called Magenta Frenzy. That's right. Now, not only can you get this now, this is over at my website at psychicbob.com. You can get a free download copy to print and frame. Um, this is the original, but I put it in a frame and I think it looks great. Uh, you can also get this now at a t-shirt. In a t-shirt from right below this video, you'll see my merch store, St. Bob's Merchandise Store. And this painting is now available also in a t-shirt form. So definitely go over there, check it out. Also, little hint, if you look around my store, we have a Lord Iseon shirt now as well. I'll have more on that in the coming days, but it's already over there if you want to go look at it. We'll talk about that soon too. So a lot of wonderful stuff to check out. Anyways, today is horoscopes. And I tell you, we got a lot going on. We're going to spin around our wheel. Now today, we're starting off here with our sun in the sign of Aquarius. Yay! We're almost out of Aquarius. On Wednesday, we are going to spin the wheel and move over from Aquarius here into Pisces, the fish. So happy birthday this week to our Aquarians and to our Pisces. But we're in Aquarius until Wednesday when we become Pisces, okay? So, well, we're starting off today with our sun in the sign of Aquarius, which is an air sign. We've got our moon today in the sign of Sagittarius, which is a fire sign. And you know what happens when you mix fire and air. Ooh, you got some power. So we are starting this week on a power play. That's right. Now, before we get into the individual horoscopes, I have a few days here I want to point out for some interesting transits, okay? Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is on Tuesday. Tuesday this week, tomorrow, which will be what's tomorrow, February the, um, what's today? 70, tomorrow, February the 18th, thank you. Uh, it's going to be Tuesday is a power day. We've got a great uh, excuse me, it's a psychic power. Well, it's a, da, 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 da. Yes, it's the power day. We have a psychic power day on Thursday. But tomorrow on Tuesday, we've got our moon conjunct Mars. We've got Mars trying Uranus. And we've got Saturn conjunct Pluto. All this lines up for, this is a great power day, particularly for business. For those of you looking for breakthrough in jobs, career advancement, or business development, Tuesday this week is our strong day. With that moon conjunct Mars, that means you're going to be feeling the power and you'll be in the mood to, to kind of get things going. Mars trying Uranus is always powerful. It's a powerful, it means radical breakthrough. So on Tuesday, be ready for things to be maybe a little intense, a little different than you plan, but yet still very positive. Saturn conjunct Pluto brings stability for long-term success. Tuesday is the day when you want to kind of put yourself out there make things happen, be a little brazen, be a little bold, and go for your goals. Tuesday's a great day. Now, also, as I said, Thursday is another power day, but Thursday's going to be our psychic power day, uh, because let me tell you what we got going on. We got a triple conjunction going on with the moon, and the moon is the illuminator of the inner life, the mysteries of the soul. And on uh, Thursday, we've got our moon conjunct Jupiter, our moon conjunct Saturn, and our moon conjunct Pluto. All this adds up for a psychic powerhouse day. 
work on inner vision, trust that inner voice, develop your clairvoyance, be attuned to spiritual truth on Thursday, and you're going to see how in tune with the cosmos you are. Okay, so Tuesday's our Power Business Day, and Thursday this week is our Power Psychism Day. Okay, so there you go, some important transits to watch this week. Oops, I'm knocking over my table here. All right, so let's jump into all of our zodiacs here. Okay, well, we're going to start off, by the way, I need to say, um, what I'm going to do is after I announce each sign, I'll give the birth date ranges for that sign. So listen up, when you hear the birth date where your sign falls, that's your sign if you don't know which sign you are, okay? So, our first sign on uh, today's uh, horoscopes is Aries. And Aries is March 21st through April 19th. You know, Aries this week, you want to focus on not being bound by people. Let yourself do your thing. Trust your inner voice. Don't go with the crowd. Go on your own path, and you are sure to have success. This applies in the way you feel about relationships as well as business this week. You want to be your own person. Don't go with the crowd. Be the lone fish swimming up the other stream, you know, and what you're going to find that all that leads to success. So your key word this week, Aries, is freedom, okay? All right, our next slide is Taurus, April 20th through May 20th. Um, you know, Taurus, you are natural leaders. I've always said that. But this week, you have that psychic pulse in the area of finance. Taurus, you're going to know how to do stuff at the right time to make the maximum profit. For those of you Tauruses who are thinking about developing a business, this is a very strong week for business development. As I said, Tuesdays are one of our big power days. But that energy for you, Taurus, is really all week long for you, not just on Tuesday. Uh, be about the dollar signs. Think about the profit. Think about the fine, uh, final results. Be all about success because you're going to find that money comes to you much easier. You're able to get ahead in career. You're able to close deals. You're able to get the financing that you want. So if you're a Taurus, think big, think dollar signs, think success, okay? You know, you might even, Taurus, want to go get that Andy Warhol painting of dollar signs because that's really the theme for you this week. You guys know which painting I'm talking about? Look it up, Andy Warhol dollar signs. You'll find it. That's the Taurus painting. Put that up in your house and let it guide you and inspire you. Your key word this week, Taurus, is money. All right, money. Ooh, we like that. I'm going to hang out with the Tauruses. Maybe they'll slide so I can buy some money. <laughs> All right. Our next side is Gemini, and that's May 21st through June 20th. Gemini, with this, you know, interesting energy between Aquarius and shifting into Pisces, it's got your inner gears going. You are feeling things. You're observing things. You're capturing in your mind how things should be expressed. This would be a very great week for Geminis to kind of start documenting things. Start a personal journal. Start writing a book. Start a blog online. You know, but start creating, particularly in writing. You're going to find that the things that you perceive, the things you capture, are not only good for now, but long term, they serve you as well. So Gemini, you want to be the observer and capture it in some form. Photography, writing, you know, journaling, all of that. That is where your power is this week. So what is your keyword, Gemini? Your keyword this week is write. Okay, write it all down and watch how it evolves and brings you success. All right, right. All right, our next sign is Cancer, and that's June 21st through July 22nd. You know, Cancers, this week you're feeling footloose and fancy free. You feel like you're in tune with life, and life is in tune with you. This is a week for Cancers just to step back from work, relax, even goof off a little bit. This is a time for Cancers just to have fun. Trying to work harder is not necessarily better for you this week, Cancer. It's kind of like take a breather. If you can, take some personal days this week. But if you can't, don't let anything stress you out. Because any of the drama you may hear this week is just that it's drama. It does not touch you, Cancer. And you're free from everybody else's expectations. So you want to think about celebrating life, having fun, kicking back, chillaxing. Your key word this week, Cancer, is... Dance. Woo, party down. Dance. We could equally say party, but I'm going to say dance. <laughs> All right, dance. All right, our next sign is Leo, and that's July 23rd through August 22nd. 
you know, Leos, you are sharing a lot of energy with the Tauruses this week. You are just seeing things ahead of everybody else. And you might even feel like people around you are just not listening. Just keep your lips tight this week, Leo. Be observant and know that you can see trends and patterns way ahead of everybody. This is going to give you a focus where to take your projects in work as well as your personal projects. Be attuned to the energy of the cosmos because you're in flow with with its psychic energy, you're flowing along that psychic current right now, and that is where your power is. Trust the inner vision, trust your inner knowing, no matter what you see around you, you are right. Your key word this week, Leo, is psychic. You are psychic. Let the psychic predominate. All right, our next site is Virgo, and that's August 23rd through September 22nd. You know, Virgos, this week you need to really go see the world. If you can, take some vacation time. Get away from the office. Break out of your routine. You have now the power of uncovering mysteries. But these are not just mysteries about your own life. These are mysteries of the ancient world. Virgos, you may feel very inspired this week to start to plan a trip. Even if you say, Psycho Bob, I don't have any vacation, I can't travel, I bet you could find some interesting mystical place to visit very close to your house, even, you know, after work or on the weekends. But now also plan a trip, like something that you've been wanting to do for a long time. So if you've been thinking, gee, I want to go to Mexico and see the Incan pyramids, go ahead and do that, okay? You're going to find that this week, Travel is the theme. It's all about where you're going and how it connects to your past life, your current life, and your future life. So your key word this week, Virgo, is travel. Travel. See the world. All right, our next sign is Libra, and that's September 23rd through October 22nd. I tell you, Libra, you and the, the Leos are really in that mystic mode this week. Libras, you're very much in a channeling mode. You are feeling the spirit move through you. You are seeing things ahead of time. You may even swear that you're starting to see spirits and future premonitions of events yet to come. Allow that to come through you. You are an open channel this week. You can channel to you not only visions, but channel success to you, channel love. It all comes in on the current of life force that is moving through Libras this week. So Libra, your key word this week is clairvoyance. Meditate on that third eye, clairvoyance, okay. All right, our next side. Oh, by the way, Libras, I, I should also add, you know, the gemstone for Libra is opal, one of the powerful gemstones. And this is known to bring Libras an immense amount of psychic vision and psychic uh, clairvoyance. So you might wanna, if you're a Libra, get an opal to wear this week or use as a vision stone, okay? So your key word, Libra, clairvoyance. There you go. All right, our next sign is Scorpio, October 23rd through November 21st. Scorpio, you are, are in an emotional place, but you may be challenged this week in the sense that you feel like, I just wanna be a normal person. I don't wanna feel everything. Scorpio, you have a heightened sense of psychism as well this week. All of this Thursday lunar energy has you in touch with your, your how do we say it, our inner, your inner emotion, your inner heart. You are feeling, you are clairsentient, that's the word. Your clairsentience is kicking in hyperdrive. You may feel a little overwhelmed by all the drama of emotion around you, but don't push it out. Let it sink in and feel it because you're being given the gift of deep inner knowing now by the cosmos. It's really a psychic gift called clairsentience. So you want to think about listening, feeling, emoting, allowing expression. It's a great week for Scorpius to go to art gallery because you'll see art in a new way because not only will you see the actual art, you'll understand the motivation of the, of the artist. So your key word this week, Scorpio, is feel. Feel your way through the week, and you will be on the right path. All right. 
Our next sign is Sagittarius, November 22nd through December 21st. Well, I tell you, Sagittarius, you know, I think I'm going to pair you up today with the Geminis because the Geminis are all about writing this week, as I said earlier. They need to write. But you, Sagittarius, you need to focus on reading. Sagittarius will find that a wealth of knowledge is around them. And it's interesting because the universe right now, Sagittarius, is placing information and answers that you need through, through written words. There's an old ancient practice called bibliomancy, where you literally open a book and then you just read a word or two. And that can be an answer to a, to a, to a situation. So you, can, you might want to experiment with bibliomancy because this week for you really is about the written word. The written word contains the clues for you. So if you're wondering about a situation, go back, reread emails, see if there are written hidden clues in conversations, particularly in business, where you thought, oh, did I miss something? And the answer will be right there before you in the words. If you can't find a letter or something that is giving you the clue, then you might want to explore bibliomancy. Read letters. Let the spirit bring to you. You know, it could even be the form, for example, of going down the street and you think, gee, I wonder where my car keys are that I lost. And suddenly a truck goes by and it says, you know, we are um, professional office movers. We move desks. And you're like, well, that there's a picture of a desk on the side truck. Well, that might be your answer. So you go back, go through your desk, and guess what? They're your keys. So writing is key for you to break through this week. Study the written word. Your key word, Sagittarius, is read. Okay, there you go. Capricorns, our next sign. That's December 22nd through January 19th. You know, Capricorn, for you, it's not so much about closing the deal right now. The money itself will work itself out, but it's about relationships. It's about attuning to people. It's about building good feelings. This week, be open to spending that extra time listening to the client, listening to a friend. Be present emotionally, and what you're going to find is that the payoff is really great, whether it's a closing of a deal or the formation of a new friendship or the renewal of a relationship that had maybe been lost and now there's a lot of renewal energy, particularly in relationships. So you want to be present this week. You want to hear, you want to listen, you want to communicate. Don't rush to close anything. Just let things happen, but be present all the way. Your key word this week, Capricorn, is relationships. Build the relationship. Relationships. All right, our next sign, Aquarius, January 20th through February 18th. You know, Aquarius, you are just in that channeling mode, but this week you're channeling art, you're channeling imagery, you're channeling writing, you're channeling literature, you're channeling extraneous, what do you call it? Speaking inspirationally. I can't remember the word, <laughs> extraneous speaking, I don't know. Second Bob gets lost, but Aquarius, this week you wanna be present in the artistic mindset. You are all about creating, creating beauty, creating philosophy, creating concepts, making others see the bigger world through your eyes, through your creations. So this week, Aquarius, pick up the paintbrush, pick up the pen, you know, pick up the sculpting clay, pick up the camera, be in your artist mode, create through channeling your art, and you will have joy and success that inspires others. Your key word this week, Aquarius, is artistic. Artistic. Be artistic. <laughs> All right, and our next sign is Pisces, February 19th through March 22nd. You know, Pisces, you're also sharing in that whole energy of this Thursday Psychic Power Day. With all that lunar energy, you are just feeling the spirit. You're feeling your inner light. This is a great week for Pisces to really sit down and focus on that inner vision, that inner wisdom. If you're a Pisces, you might want to even explore something like yoga or kundalini yoga to particularly help you get in touch with that inner wisdom, that inner knowledge. And so this week, Pisces, it's all about the inner world. The outer world will take care of itself, but for you to be successful, you have to start with the inner world. So don't let anybody take you away and distract you from your inner focus this week. 
So your key word this week, Pisces, is meditate. Meditate. Stay with it. Oh my gosh, guys, can you believe it? We spun around our big zodiac wheel. And this is so fascinating. Listen, I have to say to you, and I say it every week, but it's true. If you are at a time of struggle in your life, please do not give in to despair and depression and terror. Just pause. Take a deep breath. Let it out. And look to the stars above. Walk out under the sky at night. See the stars. Observe their patterns. Look at the day for the sun and the moon. You know, sometimes we see the moon even in the daytime. And know that that zodiac wheel above us is always spinning. And what that means is that each day brings new alignments for new opportunities, fresh power for new beginnings. So keep faith, hope, and love in your heart and let the stars be your allies on the journey. So there you go. And know the psychic Bob is here with you always and willing to help you along. I am so glad you're here. Listen, speaking of helping you along, you know, I know a lot of you have been saying, Psycho Bob, I want to get a reading. You know, it's a great time to do a reading now. We're at the new year and so many of you have been calling. I still have a few openings this week on my schedule. If you'd like to get on, uh, please call as soon as you can. Call my office, 703-825-3929. That's my office number. Give me a call. Let's get you on the schedule and uh, see what the spirit world has for you. I would love the chance to sit down with you. Also, pop over to my website at PsycheBob.com. Get your free copy of Magenta Frenzy. And if you love it so much, like you do Green Frenzy, you can get this painting also in a t-shirt. Green Frenzy is also in a t-shirt form but you can also get Magenta Frenzy. So another addition to the Frenzy line. Anyways, I hope you all check it out. And pop over there and check out my Lord Iceon t-shirts. We're going to have more on those soon as well. Well, guys, listen, keep it here at Spiritual. We got more coming. Tomorrow night, we are going to do a live messages from the spirit world. Won't be until 7 p.m. because Psyche Bob's booked up during the day. So be here 7 p.m. Eastern U.S. time. That's 7 Eastern, 6 Central time, 5 Mountain time, 4 p.m. Pacific time. And it's midnight London time, 1 a.m. Paris time. So I would love to have you here. Come on out. We're going to have free mini psychic readings. I'm going to try to get as many as I can. And I would love for you to be here with me. So guys, we'll see you back here tomorrow for that. Listen, tell me in the box below, um, do you like Magenta Frenzy? Huh? Does it inspire you? If you don't like it, that's okay too. But tell me how you feel about it. And tell me if you've been over to see the new Lord Iceon logo t-shirt. Anyways, I'm going to have one of those here soon. I'll be wearing it. But anyways, it just got developed uh, yesterday. And uh, make sure to be here, uh, you know, uh, to, in the coming days, we'll have it here. You guys are best. I love you. Mm. Pop out, check out my merch store below this video. Call me for a psychic reading, 703-825-3929. Or you can write to me in my email, psychicbobhickman at gmail.com. Those links will be below. Please help me out. Like this video, thumbs up, favorite it, share it with your friends. Hey, and hit subscribe and click the bell to get updates. Come be part of our scene. You know, for those of you who are new here, we put out something pretty much every day. I put out a video. So tomorrow we're going to have messages from the spirit world. Wednesday, we're going to have Wicked Wednesday. And I'm so excited because last night I told you guys, we're going to have a fun day. We're going to go experience what it's like to shop at Rare Wicca Spells and get magical supplies. So we're going to have that on Wednesday. You don't want to miss it. Thursday is Vlog Thursday. Friday is Free For All Friday. And this Friday, uh, to give you a preview, we're going to talk about an amazing book I've been working on. A classic book, but it's gonna, we're going to talk about Chariot of the Gods. It's about the UFO phenomena. So you want to be here on Friday for that as well. Saturday, we're going to have a seance. And on Sunday, we'll have a live Hangouts with Psycho Bob. So as you see, we got some every day for the week. You guys are best. Listen, thanks for being here. Make sure to visit my merch store. Give me a call and let's connect. 
I love you guys. Thumbs up. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Until then, may all of you always blessed be.